First of all, I'm sad that Jamie Foxx's daughter, Corinne, had to even refute this rap TV post that said the family was reportedly preparing for the worst. I'm glad that she said that Jamie's been out of the hospital for weeks and recuperating, even played pickup ball. But I'm mad that rap TV even got this rumor started. So I asked myself, who is rap TV? Because they make all these posts about black people, hip hop communities, this and that. Who are these people that they could get a rumor going like this that she had to refute? And look who owns rap TV. Does this look like the person you thought owned rap TV? So we're going to deal with entertainment on this topic. And what we must understand about the system of racism and white supremacy is that even though we are the biggest entertainers, white people ultimately want to control the narrative that is produced by entertainment. As Marima Ani states in her book, Yurugu, Europeans are very self-conscious about their image. So they must always control how they are politically, historically, and socially portrayed. You used to get flack for using the word cracker. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you my whole breakdown of that. Get to me, PB. <laughs> I need to know this. I found it very interesting that derogatory words on black cultures used the word nigga. Yeah. The whole bit is tossed around so much. Mm -hmm. But when you use that word, mm -hmm. you got flack for that. Absolutely. Um, that, that's interesting. But, but nigga, nigga, you know, you, you, it's very... <laughs> I used that word in a, in, a, in, a, in a song, I think, on my first album. Yeah, 100 years. Yeah, and I remember. Very powerful song. I got a letter. I mean, I got a call, and the the, the, the cracker word was asked to be taken out of a song that I had. <laughs> and I said, well, damn, like, I just I just said nigga 36 times in the same times. song. Yeah. Like, but no one asked me to take that out. Like, it was, it was cool. This is when Rosenberg got offended. Okay. When Becky was ringing off, Becky hurt my feelings, man. Rosenberg was, was like, "What is he up? saying yeah, about Becky's my back. white queens?" But what you got offended about? The, the Here's the thing: I rarely, and I'm being honest, I rarely get offended about anything white. Like in very seldom situations right, right. do I ever care. Right. However, every once in a while, I get a little weird about the way that white girls are, are portrayed as simply. Sluts who are out to suck dick. <laughs> it was a goofy one. Every too. white girl does that? Just instantly? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rosenberg, don't play about that goddamn white. Period. But on the other hand, they must also control how you are viewed as a black person as well. And the best way to do that is to control the narrative and the entertainment that we consume. Because a lot of us just think that it's entertainment anyway and don't see the political implications that it has. And as we know historically, entertainment has always been used as a weapon against black people. If you are as vintage as I am, you remember when this Vibe magazine came out stating East versus West adding fuel to the Biggie and Tupac incident. This man right here happens to be the biggest stakeholder in the Vibe magazine. Do you remember those beef DVDs from back in the day where they would interview rappers about local beefs and sometimes celebrity beefs and actually cause more controversy within the industry? Yeah, so uh, here's the guy right here who created the beef DVDs. Still look like a white man to me. The point that I'm making is that Europeans understand for them to stay in power, they have to control and dominate all areas of activity, specifically education and entertainment. And so they always want to give us the most degrading, stupidest, self-loathing forms of entertainment possible. I'll just leave you with this quote right here. Anytime you see black people disagreeing, arguing, or confused about a situation, you can always believe that white people are somewhere behind the scenes causing that confusion, strife, and fighting amongst black people. So, what is the actual difference between a Hutu and a Tutsi? According to the Belgian colonists, the Tutsis are taller, are more elegant. It was the Belgians that created the division. Oh. Yeah. They picked people, uh, those with uh, thinner noses, lighter skin. They used to measure the width of people's noses. The Belgians used the Tutsis to run the country. Then when they left, they left the power to the Hutus. And of course, the Hutus took revenge on the elite Tutsis for years of repression.